Hey everyone, I've been working on a, a new tool to help us design grid missions to fly using Lychee. So for this demonstration, we're just going to zoom into a random part of the world that hopefully has some good elevation differences. I think this area looks pretty promising. Maybe somewhere else. Uh, here we go. All right, so we're in the middle of uh, somewhere and we want to fly the drone, but we don't want to crash it. So the first thing we want to do is set our home point. A home point is where the drone takes off and where it lands. So we need to be standing at that location with the drone. Uh, yeah, the closer we are, the better. So let's just uh, start here. Then we can draw our area of interest using this target button. Let's go and let's pick up this whole thing. If you're not happy, you can always move stuff around. Cool. All right, in, in the bottom left, you can see at the moment, we've got about 500 photos, about 13 kilometers horizontal distance. And it's saying it's gonna take at least an hour of flight time. It's probably gonna take a lot longer than that. Uh, this isn't too accurate at the, at the moment, but hopefully I'll improve that estimate shortly. Pop open the menu in the bottom left. Here you can select your drone. I'm actually, I'm flying a Mini 2, so uh, I'm, I don't have any of these other drones. The specs change, and uh, I've done my best to, to make them as accurate as possible. So uh, if you are going to give it a try, and you do notice something, just let me know, and I'll fix it up. All right, so the first option is our direction. We can rotate the flight direction here. Uh, let's just line that up with the bottom. Uh, you'll notice that there's a, a large orange dot and a red dot. So we start at our home point. We go to the orange. We fly the grid. To, we'll finish at red and then we'll return home. Uh, the start and the end are quite a while away. So if we just nudge the line a bit, you'll notice things shift around. The start is still probably too far away, so we can just flip it 180 degrees nudge it around and our start point is going to be a lot closer so that's that's okay all right we can set our flight speed at the moment by default it's three meters per second but you can turn that up to be five meters per second whatever you like up to 15 same as lychee we have five gsd is how much of the real world fits into one pixel so at the moment this is 1.5 centimeters per pixel uh, let's maybe bump that up a bit just because there is some hills around here we have side lap which is how much information um, photos share with each other side to side if we change that around you can see the density change we'll go 70 percent front lap is same thing but it's along the line so we can uh, change the overlap in terms of top and bottom of each photo let's go 60 percent so already we're still looking at about 500 photos all right z check i'll show you what z check is in a minute but uh we're ready to export to lychee so let's save it then we'll go to Lychee, import, choose that CSV file. Cool, there's all the points. There's our home point. It's going to go to two. It's going to fly in this direction. And then when it gets to the end, it's going to turn and fly in the other direction. That allows you to set your camera to be whatever angle you like, whether it's straight down or whether you want it pitched at a particular angle, that's up to you. All right. Sometimes you get photo points that are a little bit close to each other, just by the way it's, uh, by the way the front lap works, but you can always change that around how you like. Okay, so that goes to the end. 
and that's it, it should return home. So we can double check this from a 3D perspective using Google Earth. If we head down to missions, export as KML 3D path, save it, open it up. Do you want to reload that? Yes, I do. Okay, what have we got here? Cool. So it's adjusting for the terrain beneath it. And it looks like a pretty good mission. One thing we do have to check for is collision between our endpoint and our start point. So if, for instance, our endpoint was here and our start point was here, we might run into trouble with collision with this mountaintop. But going from here to there looks pretty safe. So yeah, I'd say this mission, if it was legal to fly, uh, we could fly it with little risk to the drone. So that's cool. Uh, you'll notice that the elevation changes at every single photo. And the way Lychee controls the drone, at the moment it slows down as it approaches each new point and that um, blows out the flight time. So what we can do to sort of compensate for that uh, loss of time is to increase our Z check, which just reduces the amount of points that get generated and it compensates by taking a photo instead whilst moving. So at the moment it's doing it for every second photo, it'll adjust the elevation and I'll show you the difference. If we set it to even every third, it's gonna start here. It's gonna look at this elevation and it'll interpolate elevation between here and there, but it'll take two photos along the way. Okay, so then for this demonstration, we'll just turn it 90 degrees. There's the little bug there, which I'll, I'll be fixing soon if you're at exactly 90, 180, 0 or 270 uh, a little bit of a bug happens so we'll just change that by 1 degrees and that's fixed nudge it just a little bit ok let's export that open it up in Lychee It's a little bit easier to see. All right, and um, we've got some pretty uh, promising elevation readings here. See so how we're reading an elevation on top of the hill and at the bottom. So um, that's okay. Still might be an issue. Let's find out. So if we export that as a 3D path, open it up in Google. All right, so there's the crisscross. I'll just change the color. Changing to red. So our first flight was changing elevation at every single photo and our second flight is doing it at every third photo. So you can see there's like small differences, but in general, I'd say based on this mission, that's pretty tolerable. Like you. You won't have too many issues at all, really, uh, based on information collected using both of these missions. I'll show something that's probably a little bit more drastic. We go back to our mission design, and let's just take interpolations from only the ends of the lines, not adjusting for elevation along the journey. So, and what we'll do is we'll just distinguish it with an angle. Save that mission. Import. Bring it in. Cool. And we can just immediately just export that again. Open it up. Right. I'll just hide the first two now you can see where the issues show up 
So because we're only reading the elevation of this point on the ground and this point on the ground, uh, we are ignoring the fact that there are elevation differences and once the drone begins its journey, at some point it will crash into the earth. So uh, at the cost of our drone, we have increased the speed of our mission, which doesn't sound very good. If you're on flat land, say if you're flying your drone here, then you probably could um, just use the ends as uh, elevation reference. But it's not a good idea to, to do that when you've got like a, a hill in the middle of your mission. So it's all just about finding the sweet spot for your mission design. This tool um, doesn't guarantee a safe flight. It doesn't guarantee a legal flight. That's up to you to, to calculate and to determine. And um, yeah, if you like what you see, give it a go. If you come across any issues with how the website works or any suggestions, let me know.